Hello everybody and welcome back to another Daryl Dixon reaction. Guess what I just got? Allergy. <coughs> I can't sit down here to record a reaction because I start sneezing. It's, it's not that there's something here that I'm allergic to because sometimes this chair is very comfy. So sometimes I just sit here to watch TikToks. I don't sneeze. It's it's every time my camera is on that I start sneezing. Uh, but anyways, this is going to be season one, episode three. Ah, uh, more French. Okay, I'm going to have to learn my French. I see the titles and I want to pronounce them correctly. And then I make a fool of myself. Or Okay, first, I'm going to say it like I think it's. I think there's someone knocking on my door. There was someone knocking on my door, my uncle, because I don't have gas propane. I think that's how, what it's called. Um, so I can't cook. So my mom's sending me food while I get the gas again, like filled up the thing. Here's, here's the whole process. Uh, you get it like every six months and well, I run out faster than anticipated but anyways also i came back here and my cosplay prop long story short i got a cosplay prop for the comic con in november it lights up but you have to like press it twice or something to light it up it was it was blinking i think i should stop listening to like paranormal podcasts because it's it's affecting me a little bit. I have not touched that prop since I got it like two weeks ago. So why was it blinking? I have no idea. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like I think it's pronounced, and then <laughs> instead of just looking it up, it, no, 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 I'm gonna say it first. Paris sera toujours Paris. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a song. Okay. Paris sera toujours Paris. Okay, I wasn't that wrong, I think. Paris sera toujours Paris. I mean, of course, I'm like... Paris sera toujours Paris. Not <laughs> great at pronunciation, but I wasn't that off. Attack the horse. That's not how you protected my mule. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh. His hair. It's a cute little baby. Anglais. I speak. Sky blue. Cast green. Where's Brian? He's in the kitchen. You are. <laughs> Where is the library? Do you like Ravel? How is he talking about? Oh my god, he's gonna punch him in the face. Come on. Maybe yeah. he just went come crazy. On. You know, like come on, come on, come on, come on. We all went a little nuts in the in the apocalypse, I was gonna say. In the pandemic. Some of us were locked up alone. There I got to a point where we talked to people like like I talked to my cats. To people. Where I was like, you know? To actual living, breathing human beings. Because I went a little crazy. Understandable, he went nuts. I don't know if this is completely understandable, but... He shoved trumpets down their throats. I know these are walkers, but they used to be human beings. It lives! Ever now! It's the leaves! Oh no, the walkers. Uh-huh. Protect the horse. Not a good idea to shoot, not a good idea to shoot. More noise. We should have stuck to the plan. It was worth a try. That was a stupid detour. How is he surviving? 
on his own, surrounded by zombies that at some point are gonna get loose, no? How is that man surviving? Getting so much attention with his music, his dead orchestra. So good. Will they be hungry ones in Paris? Hungry ones. Imagine so. They're everywhere, honey. Well, you're good at fighting them. Can you imagine how bad Daryl stinks? <laughs> Because, I mean, before he was wearing like no sleeves and stuff, and now his like coats and shit. And it, in the cold, you still sweat. That's something nobody tells you. When you live or grow up in a, in a tropical country like I do, did, still live. I lived in the US for two years. I thought winters were sweat free. No, no. Right after the bridge. You're cold. Oh, you're no, no, freezing. No. You're wearing a thousand no layers. You're still freezing and you're sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Ah, uh, he's fangirling. You will not die in Paris. Daryl's like, I was not thinking that, but thank you for my new insecurity. Is the Messiah. My name is Falu. They all speak that English. I don't understand how. Like, We've been waiting a long in an time apocalypse, you, an American man. comes here speaking only English, and I think only a handful of people would be able to communicate with him. You hear that? His Paris crying. They're all crazy. Okay. Alone or in a group, you go crazy in a zombie apocalypse. Got it. And only him, he knows where he goes. Oh my god, he's so upset. Maybe he has... Merci. Merci oh, he's so cute. So cute. Look at his hair. Most adorable baby. Her husband died a few days ago. She refuses any food or comfort. Now, how can you how can you say no to that little face, but to those eyes? That's right. Come on. He's a kid. That, that doesn't mean that he's a messiah. He's just fucking cute. He must I don't like kids. And if this kid came to me and was like, "Oh, come here," I'd be like, "Oh my god, you just leave him alone. Just leave him alone, and he'll leave you alone." La masu kamba señore, un bale para que no lo tenga madre. No me dice nada, no tenga nada. What the fuck? Why is it so strong? Are they experimenting to make them stronger? These are rotting corpses. Was that her house? His name was Quinn. I was young and very stupid. He upgraded. To God? With God. <laughs> Should be severe for my old house. It's beautiful. A, a post apocalyptic world. Oh, the little kid with the. I got it. No, please. Okay, great. Can't leave her like that. Oh no, they're burners. I was gonna say, at least they're getting smashed, but... No, they're surviving. Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. Never mind. Never mind anymore. Never mind anymore. She never got to grow up. Not even a little. You see, Daryl? It's my mother. Mother's pretty. It's cute that he's talking in, in present tense, you know? He didn't say you she was pretty, she man. said you she's pretty. Falu, c'est ça? Daryl is so good with kids. It really surprises me because he's like not very good with people. 
as above, so below. The cafe comes, brother. America is an infant. But here, we survived many apocalypses. The cast below prop just moved. Yeah, I should definitely stop listening to a paranormal podcast. Okay, good to know that they still know how to have fun even in the zombie apocalypse. It reminds me of the hunt. Les garçons, les filles, les autres aussi. Votre attention, je vous prie. Everyone in between. This is not his new home. I want Carol back. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna start trouble. Oh! Oh, woo! Boys will be boys. Would be a lot easier if you were dead, honey. It's been a minute. Since you abandoned me in the middle of the road. And you know what? He's still very handsome. Strange to see you again after all these years. Even more handsome. My life takes a turn. Why? She's very pretty. He's so excited to turn the picture to everyone. He's I so like cute. You can have this to remember her. Okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Ah, so adorable. This moment is so adorable. Allez, rejoins les autres sur le toit, s'il te plaît. Attends, je t'expliquerai plus tard. Allez-y. The reason you left me behind. Okay. Turns out you were right. I have connections in Paris. You got lucky. No, I don't think... Listen, he's gotta hold a grudge. He's gotta hold a grudge. Daryl is seeing through the bullshit. So how have you been? Is he? Oh my god, no. This is turned so complicated. What are you talking about? A boy should know his dad, shouldn't he? I should know his dad. You f my sister? Some mistake. And he, w and he wanted he to leave fire. her. He's gonna try to keep Laurent, and we're not g Listen, my cute little hey. boy is not gonna stay with Sorry, you, no matter how cute you are. It was such a happy place until Dara came along. They got here so fast. Get Laurent! Get me back to your place! Is this necessary though? They were so happy before Daryl got here. Come on, come on, come on, knees. Yes. He's limping. I know, Daryl, I know. My knees would have popped too. Chupa. Oh god damn it. Did they shoot him? You know what? This is a situation that makes me go kids. Laurent is beautiful, gorgeous, cute, adorable when I adopt him. But he should not have run away like that. Especially in a moment like this. Ooh, what? Zombie werewolves? I'm sad that we don't have an episode insider. But, okay, shit is hitting the fan already in episode 3. What the f*** do you mean? Queen is the dad. He was with her. With the nun. And, and he f***ed the sister. Not just that, but the sister. Why didn't you tell us? Maybe he raped her. Oh my god. I would expect anything. Anything from a man that wanted to abandon her knowing well he didn't know that she was pregnant but he was like huh when she was puking all over the place and knowing that it could have been his or that it was his he probably raped her and that's why she didn't say anything because she was young and stupid and under pressure queen and i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to steal lauren for from us the people who actually raised him he wanted to abandon her. He would have never known. She would have died and the baby. So listen, don't, don't come at me. Don't come at me, Queen. Get the fuck away from my baby. I'm the auntie and I'm gonna listen out of my face. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me and I will see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan. I'll never be a man if you never want to grow. Take my hand.
and I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand.